Yes, my people, what's going on? So uh, I'm going to talk to you about something that's been, that's been flying around. Videos have been flying around, uh, news reports have been flying around for the last few weeks regarding um, racist attacks on um, people from the Muslim community by uh, Hindu extremists. I think that's the best way to put it, yeah? So Hindu extremists um, that have uh, suddenly grown a pair of fucking balls. Um, look, <clears throat> I'm going to say it straight up. Yeah, some people might be offended. Those who are offended, you can just fuck right off because it just shows you have got extremist views. Um, and most likely you have got extremist views against Sikhs as well. Okay, so these so-called Hindu extremists have been trying to... What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Annihilate. Uh, they're trying to get rid of the Sikhs. Um, they've been trying to kick them out um, from India for the last, what, 50 years, maybe 60 years. And um, the way I see it is, for what reason? Because when you guys were under attack by the Mughals, we helped you, okay? Our ancestors, our gurus, they helped you. So you could today have a country of your own, you understand? And um, this is how we get paid back. So. That bullshit that, that's been going on in India has recently, in recent years, has also been, um, those views and those actions of theirs have been pushed onto the uh, Muslims in India and it's now started in England as well, okay? But it's crazy how you see they're doing this in small Muslim populated areas with large Hindu communities. Okay, so I'm going to say this again now, guys. This is not going out to every Hindu out there. This is only going out to those people with extremist views. Okay, those people that think that the world belongs to them. It doesn't work that way. Okay, it doesn't work that way. Um, when you have a large number of people ganging up on a small number of people, that's not called bravery. Yeah, it's called stupidity. It's called cowardness. Okay, this is what hyenas do. You understand? When a lion is out, when he's fucking out, he's on his Jack Jones, he's rago. You understand? You might get fucking 20, 30 hyenas that are going to surround that fucking lion, yeah? But that's all they can do in numbers. On their own, they're fucked. They're cowards. You understand? So you guys that are watching this, you need to understand this. You're fucking cowards. If you guys can think you can gang up on, on minorities like that, small groups of people, thinking it makes you fucking men, remember your fucking history, motherfuckers. You understand? Remember your history. Okay? Um, look. <clears throat> it's pretty straightforward okay it is pretty straightforward they can probably think they can try and get away with this in Leicester where there's a large community there with similar views um, where the minority may be Sikhs and, and Muslims okay bit of food for thought you should try doing this in areas that are highly populated with your so-called enemies. Then we see the fucking, the true lions inside you, if there is any, or you just fucking hyenas. You understand what I'm trying to say? So um, this video is just basically trying to raise awareness. It's just basically saying that, look, this is what's happening out there. Okay, it's unfortunate. It is unfortunate it's happening out there, but it is. Okay, uh, the minority groups, not minority religions, but these people, when I say minority, as in, as in they're living in these areas, and there's a small minority of these people living in these particular areas. Okay, and that's why these groups are targeting them.
okay they wouldn't do it in any other populated areas where there's high um, high numbers of the people that they so-called hate yeah so there's a warning out there for um, everyone just be keep on your toes yeah stay prepared it is gonna get worse and uh, from what I've heard this is this is a third attack uh, in the last couple of weeks they've done uh, when I think it was an India match happened in India Pakistan they've done one attack then or two attacks on the same day and since then there's been two more attacks that have been done on people and what I think what's happened is and I, and I think you guys will be stupid if you can't see this these group this this group of people uh, and, I, and I'm assuming it's a it's a very small group yeah but this small uh, group of people has now got a taste for this their thirst for this um, is getting bigger and bigger and and they've managed to um, they've managed to do something which they think they've got away with it once they've probably done it second time and third time um, or their circle has done it second time third time and now they've they're getting a kick out of it and it will keep happening you understand what I'm saying as long as they think they can get away with it they will keep doing it okay so you guys uh, um, the Muslim community and not just the Muslim community, any other community out there uh, based in these areas, in the Midlands, Leicester and all that, yeah, where a lot of these so-called extremists live. Um, you guys need to keep your eyes open, okay? Now, I'll say this to the Sikh brothers out there because one thing that we are taught from day one is we protect. This is who we are. It doesn't matter who it is. We protect, okay? So if we see someone being ganged up by a large number of people, we protect, you understand? Okay, and same goes for everyone, and I can say this to the Muslim community out there as well, yeah? Um, if you guys see any of this shit going on, don't just stand there and start taking fucking videos. Intervene, you understand? Protect. Tomorrow that could be your brother, could be your uncle, could be your dad, could be anybody, you understand? Don't let these fuckers get away with it. All right, take care. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention. So, when the attacks were done a couple of weeks ago, um, about 300 Muslims uh, from the Pakistani community got together and uh, they went down into um, I think it was the area where it happened or it was in a large populated um, extremist area Hindu extremist area where they where they went down about 300 of them nothing happened as in as in these fucking cowards didn't want to come out of their houses you understand they don't want to come out of the houses um, they felt intimidated because they're now seen that push comes to shove if we stick together they can't do fuck all and that is their true reality you understand what I'm saying this is the true reality of these type of people um, when they catch you on when you when when you're on your own they will become fucking brave but when you fucking get your brothers and and your family together and they see the fucking true power they see the true force then they're bad to come out you understand but the other thing i was going to say to you was and this is a bit um it's a bit crazy but it's something to think about yeah have you seen how all of this has only started to happen since Priti patel and that rishi sunak has slightly suddenly got a bit of power thanks to Modi and um, so yeah crazy in it but watch keep watching because if people like Preeti Patel and uh, Rishi Sunak get in power then we're fucked absolutely fucked and this is straightforward I I'll tell you straight and um, this is these are the same people that are um, they got houses raided in the Midlands yeah of people that were innocent they were accused of bullshit yeah still have to, still haven't to this day charged them with anything you understand it's been it's been a good few years i think it's been about three years or so yeah maybe more they have not charged them with anything they're doing exactly the same thing that india does where the case just drags on for years and years and years and you're on bail why just to cause inconvenience that's what I'm saying. So, guys, just watch this space. It's going to get worse. Watch.